Hello, hello, happy Friday. It's another recovery from surgery type of vlog because that's really all that's happening in my life right now. I did just shower and I was wearing my hair up in some braids, but I wanted to redo them because every time I sleep on them, they get really messy. So I wanted to redo it. And every time I take off my strap, I have been taking pictures from the front and from the side in some videos. And I feel very vain because I'm just like staring at them, but I am trying to just see the progress. And it's coming along so far. I, just to remind you, I got a chin implant the incisions inside of my lip. I got some neck light bow and I had a benign cyst right here that they had to remove and my breast augmentation. But first with this, this little circle is just the leftover from the Sharpie, but I really wanna try to take it off because it looks like ringworm, honestly. And then here, it still has Sharpie and you could see even right on my chin, I have a line but i've been trying to take off as much as i can without really tugging on my skin but i don't like how that circle looks because as soon as you look at me that's all you see but i'm trying to still get used to like the new chin it's still very numb but not as much every day it is getting better um uh, my lips still feel numb but not as tingly as they were before so also getting better in terms of my chest let me turn you around i have two bras this is a bra that they gave me and it has padding so it makes me look much larger than i actually am because it's like rounds them out even more so i'm not as big as like that's showing and this bra is tighter than the one that i bought but i'm washing the other one right now so i switched over to this one since i have to wear this for four weeks and my chin implant for two weeks so i have a little less than a week to go on this and still like a little less than three weeks to go with this one so that's the update on like how everything's looking as of today friday so seven nine days after surgery good morning don't mind the crazy hair i did just take off my chin strap and it is the last day that i'm supposed to be wearing it i think technically i'm supposed to be wearing it tomorrow but i'm just gonna wear it today sleep with it and then tomorrow wash my hair and not put it in anymore i think i just found a little ant in my coffee or oh, no i don't know what that is i just dropped something i think one of the anyway <laughs> i've got coffee and yesterday my mom did get me a coffee crumble cake so i'm eating this and some cottage cheese with strawberries and banana and honey so that's breakfast right now i did start work yesterday and it was rough waking up and having joint meetings but have to do it it's back to work and it's like a start of a new like retail calendar year so really have to start getting my grind on so i'm gonna eat this breakfast and just start answering some emails there is some stuff that i have to do so i can't put it off any longer i've been gone for a while so i really have to get stuff done this week but overall everything else i'm feeling good just need to concentrate hello hello <laughs> we are getting ready well we're already in bed actually but wanted to give an update. It is Wednesday night, officially two weeks after surgery, if I'm not mistaken. And I did just remove the little, it wasn't like a scab, I guess like the little stitch or scab. You could see it's still a little red right there. Um, if I don't focus. So I didn't want to put scar tape on it because I just wanted to fully close up. <laughs> and I need to cut these longer because this scar tape just keeps on peeling up and obviously it's not gonna work but that's how this is going on and then my chest i also did remove the tape over my stitches and they look good so far they're still healing a little but i think they're closed up and they're just kind of scabbing right now so just trying to keep those like nice and clean but i was starting to get itchy from just like the stickiness of the tape so a lot of that's off but i was able to shower and i feel so clean and it's the first night that i'm not sleeping with the chin strap on so like i'm so comfortable with my hair being able to just like move around and get scratched because 
that was just so annoying over my head so i'm gonna sleep really good tonight <laughs> hello hello good afternoon it is thursday but it very much feels like a friday because today went by pretty fast but i got a couple of things for work done and i had a couple of meetings so basically just wrapping up the day here and feeling good i am a little hungry and i want another coffee i have been having my morning hot coffee in the morning and then a midday cold coffee so i need my midday cold coffee right now but i just need to make that um switching gears quickly from only talking about surgery look at all this so i feel so bad because i bought stuff from shein and i know it's like terrible and i don't support it but for party supplies it was very affordable so i was able to buy all this and that's because i'm hosting my best friend's bridal shower so the theme is rose gold and white so i bought a lot of pink and rose gold things and it was very fun because i love all like the quote-unquote girly very feminine pink stuff so it was very fun to buy all this and it's all really cute like i don't know you see confetti like this in the shape of a ring or yeah there's like little toothpicks so there's a lot of different things that i bought just to be able to add to the tables but that's basically like also what's been keeping me pretty busy aside from surgery just recovery but while i was recovering i've been really like fully focused on planning this because it is the first weekend of march that we'll be um having this event so obviously like booking all the things that i need renting all the things that i need and buying all this yesterday i did buy an outfit because we also asked everyone to wear light pinks to the party so i did buy myself a pink dress and some white shoes so once that comes in from asos or asos i never know how to say it i'll show it to you and it's been exciting but also i feel like i can't concentrate in work or anything else because i'm just like okay surgery and like making sure that i'm recovering and then this and then also obviously like her wedding is happening so i like booked an airbnb for the group of people that are going to be going and trying to just rally a big group is very difficult because people need reminders and then i feel bad like constantly like updating people but it has to be done so <laughs> very much wearing the hat of like maid of honor with all this and then also my mom's uh 50th birthday party which i've mentioned before but now we are really on the full swing of things and my goal was like while i am here uh, i wanted to book everything just to have it and obviously like pay it off before the party or like whenever the vendors require you to but like we're doing a a taco truck for food so food is completely done i booked the dj the venue had been booked already for many months and our kind of like event planner slash decoration and she's in charge of like setup and cleanup and hiring the waiters and the bartenders all that like that's also all taken care of so that's good because it's literally just now paying it off <laughs> which obviously it's an important thing but that's easy that's actually just doing it instead of like doing the research on who to book so very much yeah made of an honor role and event planner role but it's all been keeping me busy which is good because obviously the days here are long after i'm out of work and don't have much to do so these little things like keep me excited and doing a lot of online shopping and just browsing so waiting for also an amazon order which was a pretty big order but that was more things like the rose gold utensils or the carafes Cara Cara whatever <laughs> like where you put your mimosas things like that so once the event is like happening closer and closer i'll definitely show more but i don't know if that's any interest to you but it's obviously like what's happening in my life so it is interesting to me and because i know it's all packaged up it's hard to tell what it is but i did get a party veil for her a lot of straws that i put that little team bride sign kind of in between them so that'll look pretty and this is the exact color the rose gold so these were perfect some uh string decoration that just kind of like hangs from the ceiling we are gonna have a photo booth so i did buy a couple of these signs that you just put with the toothpicks that they give you and it's some, like sunglasses so just cute little props for that did buy two different pom-pom colors so white and pink because also we need a little bit more white in there so it doesn't look too white fortunately i didn't find rose gold pens 
but because we are playing your classic bridal shower games i did get pens for everybody and i thought these were really cute because they're like flowers so thinking of just putting it with everyone's plate and also like tablescapes i'll each get a cute little heart or flower i did get different types of balloons like heart shaped ones some that are like stars and i might have gotten one that says bride i don't remember this is just different types of confetti that i'm gonna put throughout the tables as well so this is silver engagement rings just some white pearls and some rose gold hearts i did order small pink candle holder trim dollar tree so i'm waiting to pick that up but these will fit perfectly there and also add to the table one of the games will be uh guess where the couple was and i'm going to put pictures of them traveling so this will hang and it'll look cute so not only will it be functional for the game but i think it also look pretty more string decoration gift bags for the winners of the games more toothpicks of sorts and more confetti and little just curtains to kind of cover up some of the walls around the backyard and i did decide that i'm gonna make charcuterie cups instead of buying them so i've been buying things like this just kind of like handheld forks and from amazon i did buy the charcuterie cups with the little toothpick so that will also add to it but yeah really exciting itchy boy itchy 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 he needs a shower really bad but it's kind of cold so i don't know if i should give it to him today because i don't want him shivering but definitely either today or this weekend and i can't believe it's already friday this is the day i'm posting this so i'm going to wrap it up soon but this week went by pretty fast which i'm glad but it also means it's already february and this month flies by and then things just start picking up for me it's kind of looking at my schedule and i will be doing some traveling this year which i'm very excited about but that means also obviously like paying for those trips saving for those trips and also just figuring out doggy daycare there's a lot of things that go into it so before i even get to actually go in and have the fun uh i need to figure all that out but as it comes but i am very excited for this year it started off pretty slow but things are moving along can't believe my surgery done and like fully going into recovery now so a lot of different things <laughs> um but all good things and before i wrap up i guess just update on these two scars for my internal one i think there's two more um sutures that haven't fully dissolved but the rest of them are fully dissolved and it's so interesting like how scarring works in your mouth that is like disappearing and the surgeon did say like you don't really score inside of your mouth and even if i do i'm not gonna like look at it i don't mind i don't care and here um just one small dot and this is still if i move maybe a little to the side there's a slight bump to where the actual scar is so i'm going to just continue putting a lot of bio oil on these two and whenever i'm out put a lot of sunscreen because i don't want them to darken and when i can when it's dry wear some scar tape and for my chest i mean this is what it's looking like so far it's still um very elevated like they're not gonna be so high up they're not gonna be this like hard um so a lot of movement to happen there but it's all like slowly getting better but thank you for watching this video and again continuing recovery with me i'll see you on the next one